So once your dog has brachycephalic surgery done, they usually will be going home with a couple medications. Um, some of those could be anti-nausea medications, some pain medications, and some anti-anxiety or sedative type medications. When they go home, unfortunately, they will be wearing the terrible cone of shame for the first 10 to 14 days. The reason primarily for that is that they will scratch or rub their nose on the ground. And it's a very sensitive area, and if they do rub or scratch at their nose, they are at high risk of having an incisional complication where that incision opens up, and that's not something we want. Um, they also could get an infection at that site, but more commonly it's that we can have those sutures rubbed out or fall out and us having issues there. We do want them to stay nice and quiet during that 10 to 14 days. We don't want them running, jumping, or playing. We want them having limited use of stairs, keeping them inside the house most of the time. Um, we do ask that they are not given or not that uh, collars are not utilized for walking during that time period. We do not want to put a leash on a collar. Realistically, this is uh, something that we're going to want to do life, lifelong for a brachycephalic dog. We want them to have harnesses on because the, the collars do put pressure on their airway and during the recovery that can cause a lot of complications but certainly even down the road it can cause some issues as well. So having a nice um, fitted uh, harness for them is going to be an ideal thing to transition them over to. At the end of the 10 to 14 days that they will have a recheck where we take a look at the airway, make sure everything take a look at the nostrils, make sure everything is healed appropriately, and we're going to take a listen to that airway. Typically, we aren't going to do an oral exam to look down at the back of the throat. We're just going to want to listen to that airway to make sure that the sounds are good, that we're not having respiratory issues, where we're having difficulty breathing, those types of things. Assuming that we have returned to normal, that's really good news, then we're going to go ahead and uh, return to normal activity. So at the end of the two to two weeks, uh, we can resume normal activity. Now, again, lifelong with these guys, we want to use that harness. We do want to avoid really hot days. So when it gets to the high 90s and into the hundreds, we want them to be inside. We don't want them out doing high level activities. And we do want to just monitor that airway long term just to make sure that they're breathing okay or not hearing any changes as they age.